I'm Kyle. I'm Martin. We're the co-founders of The Current Exchange. All right, here's what we did. Been friends for a very long time. Sat down one day, we weren't happy with our jobs. Left the corporate world and never looked back. The Porsche with its uh, rear engine, transaxle on the back, really melded well with the placement and packaging of an EV car. We are uh, focusing on doing conversions on Porsches that are G-Series, 76 to 89 and a half, which this one is, 89 and a half up to 94, which is the 964. Any of those years and we'll convert it. This is a completely ground up built system by Ampere EV out of Atlanta, Georgia. We had ordered with a, a different company. They never delivered. We went to SEMA a couple years back. Last booth we visited was a company called Ampere EV. They had a converted DeLorean the guys were amazing over there. They answered all our questions. We had conversations from there and they've been amazing partners ever since. When we ordered this system, we were told three months. It was delivered before those three months were up. Just really amazing because we had waited so long for the other company to deliver. Ampere uh, is a great company. Anytime we give them a call, they got kits ready to deliver from their warehouse to wherever they need to go. We get the crate delivered and it was like a, a kit on Christmas, unpacking everything, seeing all the different EV components, an amazing system and gives you everything you need to convert a vehicle to all electric. Every hose, every clamp, every connector in a tight, perfect package. All right, here's what we did. So we have anything orange is a high voltage wire. All of that comes with it, all the connectors. You don't have to hunt those down. Touch safe, you know, we can touch right now. There's no power going through that. So it's nice that you don't have to worry. 42 kilowatt hour battery system. We have battery here, one below, and then one out front where the gas tank used to be. This is the high voltage junction box right here, distributes all the power to all the system in the car. And then this is the fast charging CCS junction box, gets you back up to 80% in about 20 minutes, back on the road. Ampere, they provide all of this system. It's all OEM level, fully engineered throughout. Of course, it was up to us to get it into a, a Porsche 911. So that's where our design engineer comes in. You know, he's still making these subframe for us to hang the battery boxes, to hang the motor off of it. Our mantra with this car was do no harm. So there's very minimal cuts. Subframes bolt in, subframes bolt out, engine bolts back in if you want to. So up front, it's not about really what's up here. It's about what's still here. And that's your luggage space. This is all the original space you had. This is the original carpet from Porsche. Underneath, we have another one of the battery packs. It goes where the fuel tank formerly was. So it fits right in there. We have a total of three battery packs in this. 42 kilowatt hours, that's one of the options from Ampere. There's also 84 kilowatt hours available, but for us packaging, this is what we could fit. Gets you about 150 miles. You're pumping the AC, the 400 volt electric AC at 27 degrees. You're gonna get a little bit less. And then if you wanna drive, I don't know, LA down to San Diego, you have fast charging on this as well. So you can take it to any of the chargers that you see at malls or shopping centers, parking garages, back up to 80% in about 30 to 40 minutes. The battery pack isn't the only thing. Underneath here, you have a 12 volt upgraded system. So you went from those bullet type fuses to your blades. You have uh, vacuum assist for the brakes because you no longer have vacuum coming off that motor. On this vehicle, we also take the step of upgrading the 12 volt to a lithium ion so you never have the 12 volt holding you back so you got a lithium ion battery in there as well down below you have the optional 400 volt ac from uh, ampere great addition it blows colder than this car's ac ever blew before uh, this car originally did not come with power steering and we didn't make that upgrade to power steering though it is optional from ampere they've got an integrated system um, that you can get but we felt that uh, keeping it manual steering on this car was the right thing to do and she rides amazing and drives amazing. So we think we made the right choice. Our aesthetic was all about keeping the original Porsche uh, DNA to this, the original Porsche style, because why mess that up? When you look at it from the outside, you can't tell that anything's been done, but then it's all about the little things on the inside. We replaced all the analog gauges with updated CAN bus digital gauges. Still have that analog look. You've got your battery level, temperature gauges course speed and tachometer this gives you all the analog feel of a classic Porsche but with all the modernness of the EV components this is the graphical user interface gives you a lot of additional information Renline aftermarket pedals gives that brushed billet aluminum feel to it obviously we don't have the need to shift in this car anymore so we have a keypad shifts you from park reverse drive and then also has an emergency button. If there were to be an accident, you could press that button, open up all contactors, make sure no high voltage is flowing through the vehicle. Obviously this being a Porsche, we wanted to keep all the classic feel of the car. 
but also with it being an EV, we wanted to add those modern amenities. Blows ice cold. These were known for having terrible air conditioning systems. So we modernized that. Apple CarPlay also has all the modern safety features of an OEM EV vehicle included in the Ampere system. So you know you're safe driving down the road. There are so many things to love about this car. Classic Porsche styling and handling, all with modern conveniences. But the real thing that separates this car from the others is the EV torque. This has a Tesla motor in it for 300 horsepower roughly. You can also get the Cascadia option, which will roughly double that to 500 horsepower, 500 foot pound of torque. We're in Redondo Beach, heading up the PCH to Santa Monica later today. Beautiful day to drive.